Did you know the world of Formula 1 is about to get a major overhaul? From 2026 onwards, the regulations will introduce cars that are smaller, lighter and more agile, set to hit the racetrack. Join us as we delve into how these rules will elevate the competition and add excitement to the sport. One of the most notable changes in the F1 2026 regulations is the reduction in size. The cars will become smaller and more nimble to improve the handling and make the racing more competitive. Specifically, the wheelbase will be shortened by 200mm, bringing it down to 3400 and the width will be reduced by 100mm down to 1900 These adjustments will allow more side-by-side -side action between cars. The floor width will also shrink by 150mm, contributing to the car's overall compact design. By making these changes, the aim is to make easier for drivers to race closely together, particularly in the corners. Smaller cars with reduced dimensions allow for more feasible overtaking maneuvers, improving the racing on track. With the reduction in car size, the weight is also being lowered. The minimum weight for the 2026 cars is set to be 768 kilograms, a 30 kg reduction compared to previous years. This marks the first time in over two decades that the minimum weight of F1 cars has been significantly reduced, reversing a long trend where the cars gradually became heavier, primarily due to added safety features. Although these features enhance driver safety, many in the sport believe that the increased weight made the cars less enjoyable and more heavy to drive compared to their lighter predecessors. This weight reduction is essential for making the cars more responsive on the track, improving their overall agility and addressing long-standing concerns that the modern F1 cars had become too heavy, impacting the pure driving experience. The tyre size, which changed to 18-inch rims in 2022, will stay the same in 2026, but there are few adjustments to the width. The front tyres will be 25mm narrower, and the rear tires will be 30 mm narrower than the previous years. The goal here is to reduce weight and improve aerodynamic efficiency without sacrificing grip, which remains essential for performance. Pirelli, the F1 tire supplier, has acknowledged that the smaller widths may lead to a minimal loss of grip. However, the reduction in tire width helps save weight and optimize the car's overall efficiency. The broader goal is to allow for better management during the races while maintaining high levels of performance. A major change for 2026 is the introduction of active aerodynamics. The cars will feature movable front and rear wings, enabling the drivers to adjust the car's aerodynamics during the race. This system will function similarly to the current DRS, but with more flexibility. In Z mode, the wings will adjust to increase downforce for better cornering, enhancing grip and control through the corners. Conversely, when the drivers activate the X mode, the wings will open to reduce the drag, optimizing the car for speed on long straights. The front wing will be 100mm narrower, featuring a two element flap design. The rear wing will also be redesigned with three elements, removing the lower beam to improve airflow and reduce drag. This will allow for better stability at higher speeds and reduce turbulence, helping following cars to stay closer and overtake more easily. Along with the front and rear wings, the teams will also be introducing changes to the side pods and the floor of the car. The side pods will be redesigned to improve airflow management, while the underfloor aerodynamics will focus on generating more downforce. The car's ground effect will be dialed back, reducing its reliance on ultra-low setups that led to issues like bouncing and porpoising in the previous years. The goal of these changes is to make racing more dynamic and strategically diverse. The introduction of active aerodynamics will increase overtaking opportunities by allowing drivers to adjust their car's aerodynamics for different sections on the track. The system will be activated in designated zones, adding a new layer of tactical depth to the races. The 2026 season will mark a pivotal shift in the engineering of power units, maintaining the use of V6 turbo hybrid engines but with a substantial adjustment in their power consumption. The new engine regulations are poised to introduce a balanced 50-50 split between internal combustion and electrical power. This change not only ensures that the equal power output is delivered from both sources, but also highlights the increase in utilization of electrical power, reflecting Formula 1's commitment to sustainability measures. 
This realignment in power source distribution aligns with global automotive trends that emphasizes energy efficiency and reduced carbon emissions, underlining the sport's dedication to greener practices. Consequently, the increased reliance on electrical power necessitates the advancements in battery technology, leading to the development of larger and more efficient batteries, as they will be responsible for delivering 50% of the car's power, ensuring that the energy levels are maintained throughout the race. This evolution supports Formula One's environmental goals, but also adapts to the changing dynamics of the automotive technology, setting in new standards in sustainable racing. Along with the shift to more electrical power, 2026 power units will now run on 100% sustainable fuel. This marks a major move towards F1's commitment in reducing carbon footprint. The sustainable fuels will provide the same performance levels as the current fuels, but with a significantly lower environmental impact. This also aligns with F1's broader sustainability goals, which include reaching zero carbon net emissions by 2030. The overtaking button, a significant tactical addition to Formula 1 cars in 2026, is formally known as the manual override system. This feature allows drivers a strategic burst of additional electrical power from the power unit. When activated, the system can deliver an extra 350 kilowatts of power, providing a crucial advantage for overtaking maneuvers. Unlike the previous DRS system, which was mechanically based, this boost will be electrically generated. The new regulations for 2026 will remove the MGUH component from the power units, which is responsible for recovering energy from heat. The decision is aimed at simplifying the hybrid systems, thereby reducing the cost and complexity. With the MGUH phased out, teams will shift their focus on optimizing the MGUK, the component that recovers energy during braking. This adaptation is expected to enhance greater portion of the power unit's energy recovering tasks. Streamlining these designs will not only boost the reliability, but also mains the high level performance and efficiency within hybrid systems. The elimination of the MGUH has been well received among the teams as it reduces operational complexities and costs significantly. Furthermore, this simplification has made Formula One power unit regulations more appealing to the engine manufacturers by lowering the technical and financial barriers to entry, fostering a more competitive environment for the sport. Audi is set to make a significant impact upon entering Formula 1 in 2026, both as a team and as an engine manufacturer. The German automotive giant has confirmed its takeover of Sauber, signaling a robust entry strategy into F1. Audi's commitments extend beyond merely fielding a team. They're also investing in developing their own power unit, marking a substantial investment in their F1 operations. Such significant move reflects Audi's high ambitions in the sport. The brand is not just participating, it aims to dominate. Audi's intention to become a major contender in Formula 1 adds an intriguing layer to their entry. This offers us fans a great story to follow as we'll watch the brand try to reach to the top. Ford is also re-entering Formula 1 through a strategic partnership with Red Bull Racing starting in 2026. This collaboration will see Red Bull and Ford co-developing a new power unit, leveraging Ford's technological prowess and Red Bull's racing expertise. This partnership is particularly notable because it marks Ford's return to Formula 1 after decades away and represents a significant shift to Red Bull, which has been increasingly involved in power unit development. This alliance aims to keep Red Bull at the top of the sport. Cadillac, the iconic American automotive brand under General Motors, is also set to join Formula One in 2026. This entry is a broader initiative by GM to expand its presence in global motorsports. Initially, Cadillac will not manufacture its own engines. Instead, they have secured a multi-year agreement with Ferrari to supply engines and gearboxes. The deal with Ferrari allows Cadillac to compete effectively from their inaugural season while developing their own power unit. Expected to debut in 2028, led by TWG Global and GM, the Cadillac team is a part of renewed effort that follows previously rejected bid from Andretti to become the 11th team in F1.
Cadillac's entry into F1 is significant, not only because it brings another major American brand into the sport, but also because it promises to increase F1's visibility and popularity in the United States. The entry of these powerful global brands, Audi, Ford and Cadillac into Formula 1, not only diversifies the grid, but also injects new technologies and competitive energy into the sport. Each brand brings a unique set of strengths and strategies to the table. The significant investments from these automotive giants underscore their commitment to the sport and are poised to enhance Formula 1's global appeal and contribute to its growth, aligning with F1's broader goals of expanding the sport's reach worldwide.